<laughs> Congratulations. Thank you, thank you. First U.S. card for DAZN. Yeah. Um, how happy, excited, and um, what did you think about tonight's performances? I thought it was a great show. Loads of action. Uh, you know, obviously the first show for, I wouldn't say my first show because I've been doing shows for HBO. But, uh, thanks, mate. Cheers. But um, for the zone, for their production, for their team. So it's great to get the first one under the belt. Great for so much action. You know, all we try and do is create value for money, for fans. And there wasn't anyone in the arena tonight or watching live on the zone that didn't have a great time. And uh, hopefully everyone will be back. Main event, Jesse Vargas. Thomas DeLorme, a draw. What was your reaction when you saw that? How, how did you see the fight going? I thought he just won the fight, but the knockdown made a draw very fair. You know, I got up with 20 seconds to go to walk around the ring, and I saw it, I couldn't believe it, you know. And you could see on his face at the end of the fight, it was like, ah. Uh, but he didn't lose, you know, and that's the main thing. And he remains the highest-ranked contender with a WBC, which, when a vacant title is won, should mean he's mandatory. So hopefully the WBC will make Sean Porter against Jesse Vargas for the first defense. So there should be no problem. Should be no problem to mm. see that fight, right? That's boxing, though. No. Boxing. All right, now Danny Roman versus uh, Gavin McDonald. Danny. Danny. R oh, the right. rolling yeah. Roman. Oh. Roman. You can't do that. No. No. Mm. no it's good though. Do it again. <laughs> Roman. <Very good. laughs> Danny Roman yes. versus Gavin yes. McDonald. Yes. Uh, I can't do nothing with the L. McDonald. No, no, no. <laughs> Um, great fight as, as well. Um, he called out the champions. Um, how interested are you in, in doing a Mexican showdown with Ray Vargas, or what champion are you interested uh, for him? Well, I mean, I thought it was a great performance from both guys, actually, but a good win for Danny Roman. Um, you know, I like the fight against TJ Doheny, mm -hmm. and I love the fight against Ray Vargas, you know, an all-Mexican affair. Obviously, we've got a good relationship with Golden Boy, so I don't see why we can't make that fight. Maybe give him one more... Uh, a lot of these guys, like, you know, Danny Roman's one and, and Better Beev is another where they're not quite as big profile-wise as they should be. Yeah. So we have to try and build them to make sure that when they go into a big fight that they get paid the money they deserve, the eyeballs are watching it. And, uh, you know, I think Danny Roman's got a great chance to unify the division. And, of course, great war between Better Beev and Johnson. You, you, you said it yourself, he's a beast. He is a beast. Um, like I said, you know, you could cut him, and I'm not sure. Like, he, a he actually got cut in the fight, but it didn't really bleed. Like, <laughs> it's because he's, he's that kind of guy. But I'm very proud of Callum Johnson because he's been very inactive, but the opportunity came up for him to take this fight. And he took it, and he also lifted better be off his feet with that left hook. And, you know, maybe if he jumped on him a little bit, maybe he could have ended it. But, you know, better be is so dangerous. So, um, you know... I think that it was a great performance, and I want to make better be ever against Bivol. Yeah. You know, I think that's the fight for the division right now, and uh, it's a brutal fight, and one that hopefully we can see in 2019. You know, I just realized we, we skipped Big Baby Millers. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> a good performance. I mean, he's going to be very hard to beat, especially if you're a small heavyweight. Yeah. You know, that was the problem for Adamic tonight. He was just getting overrun at every time. So, you know, Big Baby Miller sort of fluctuated in weight, and he felt that if he came down in weight, he'd be more effective. But I actually think it's the reverse. I think he's more effective when he's heavy, you know, and he's fit. You know, if you actually look at his physique, he's actually not really that fat. You know, he's, he's just huge. His legs are like, you know, like three times the size of my legs. So, um, but he's, uh, he's going to be tough to beat. If, he, if he's got a good chin, which I think he has, you know, there's not many heavyweights that I'd pick to beat him.